Lock powering is often misunderstood, but really, it's pretty simple. There are a couple of classifications and terms you need to be aware of. First is powered and unpowered. An opaque block with redstone going into it will be powered. One without redstone going into it is unpowered. It gets a little more confusing when you talk about strongly and weakly powered blocks. Here are two blocks with redstone going into them. They are both powered, as you can see by their activated lamp. The difference comes when we try to take power out of the blocks. The repeater powered block gets a redstone signal when we place just dust, but the other does not. So here, the repeater powered block is a strongly powered block. What makes it strongly powered is that it is powered directly by a redstone powering component, i.e. a repeater, comparator, observer, etc. A weakly powered block is powered by redstone dust. Even so, it is still powered. So if I replace this dust with a repeater, now there is power going out of the block in both cases. A good example of why this matters is passing redstone under a block. With a weakly powered block, we cannot pass this signal down here, but we can with a strongly powered block. So for instance, this can cause issues if the block is strongly powered and you want to isolate that redstone line and not power it. All right, moving on. Here is a, another distinguishing term, powered versus activated. Activated means the redstone component turns on. So like here, the lamp is activated, but it is not powered because we cannot take a redstone signal out of it and it can't activate any other components near it. So blocks that are directly adjacent to a powered block will be activated. We can see this clearly with a lever. When we turn this on, we see that two blocks are powered here. The lever itself is powered and the block it is attached to. All of the other blocks directly touching the lever or the block that the lever is attached to are then activated, but not powered because the blocks touching them do not activate. Pretty simple, right? Well, there is one last very simple concept I want to address. Opaque versus transparent blocks. People butcher this terminology here, so it gets a little confusing at times. Transparent means you can see through the block, whether it be something like glass or something that you mostly can't see through, but can a little bit on high settings like leaves. Opaque is the lack of transparency, meaning you cannot see through it. So like this smooth stone, you can't see through it, so it's an opaque block. In general, you can power opaque blocks, but not transparent or non-solid blocks. So here, when I try to power this glass, it does nothing because, well, we can't. It's a transparent block. It's pretty simple, but check the wiki for the details. With that said, time's up. Check out the playlist for other quick redstone tutorials. Thank you for watching.